1940, the people of the British Isles stood isolated, bracing themselves for the aerial onslaught that would pave the way for the Nazi invasion. RAF Fighter Command was ready to be the sword and shield against this airborne onslaught, thanks to the leadership, determination and foresight of its commander, Sir Hugh Dowding, a man who was never given the recognition he deserved for laying the foundations for victory in the Battle of Britain. In the spring of 1940, Europe was collapsing under the weight of Hitler's armed forces. The vast German war machine had overpowered Poland and Czechoslovakia. Now they swept into France. The commander-in-chief of fighter command for the Royal Air Force was Air Chief Marshal Hugh Dowding. Dowding's fighting force was in France attempting to stop the Germans overrunning the country. It was a losing battle. Nearly 500 fighters were destroyed and 300 pilots killed. This was a severe drain on the resources of fighter command. We were hopelessly ill-equipped. We didn't have a pro we didn't all have maps. Only some of us had maps. There weren't enough to go around, and uh, we had no ground crew with us, so we had to do it all ourselves. Pump fuel in, pour it in from two gallon tins. The army who were on the beaches at the time trying to get out, were slating the RAF fighter command somewhat because they said they never saw any fighters overhead. What they didn't realize, of course, that if we intercepted their bombers over there, it would be too late. They'd be dropping their bombs on them. So we had to intercept them way inland. 